Well, you know, our non-league schedule is, is pretty daunting uh, and also pretty exciting. You know, and, and I don't look at schedules as good or bad. They are what they are, you know, and, and so you just look at it, you take it for what it is. We play Sac State at home. And one thing that is for sure positive, we'll be able to get some of these guys that haven't played into a game. It'll be at home. We won't have to travel. I think that's probably a positive deal. While the trip to Madison to face the Badgers in week two won't be easy for the Beavs, Mike Riley knows that it's a great opportunity for his team and for Beaver Nation. One of the top 10 teams in the country again that we're playing, and I think it'll be really good for our team. Great opportunity to beat a very good opponent and kind of a new opponent to Beaver fans, and, I, and it will be good for the fans. I know a ton of people are looking forward to the trip to Madison. Beavers face their third non-conference opponent midway through the season, but should in no way expect a break. BYU beat us badly in the bowl game a couple of years ago, and they have a young quarterback that's one of the most talented guys in the country. It will not be a break. It will be an outstanding football team coming into Corvallis. With the emergence of the Pac-12 conference comes new challenges, and Coach Riley embraces this era with excitement and optimism. There's a ton of teams rising up. Washington has been moving forward. The Cougars are getting better. Arizona, Arizona State already have good programs. Uh, the Bruins are getting better. SC's SC, Cal's always got a good program. Stanford and Oregon are two of the top teams in the country. Utah, adding to our league, they're not coming in as a team trying to find their way. They've been in the top 10, the top 25, at least in the last decade. And then Colorado has the total potential of that. They've been there. I think all of us that are in football and all the fans out there now have to look at this new conference. It truly is just very, very exciting. I think we're on to a new place and uh, it'll be fun to see it unfold.